Hi guys, this is a second video on the Storm 32 3 axis gimbal fitted to the Upson H109S. Now, if you've seen the first one I put out, uh, you'd notice I was getting quite a lot of jello. Uh, so I've brought it back and gone through the PID settings again, reset the PIDs. And also change the uh, the gimbal rubbers. These are actually the ones that come with the Storm 32, and they're fairly firm. They feel all right, but to try and cut out the jello and get rid of a bit of vibration, I've switched back to the original Upson rubbers, which are much softer. Also, I've got a question on my last video uh, about the wiring. Um, and all, basically, all you need to do with this gimbal is supply power. It comes, the Storm 32 comes fitted with this connected on the end for the power. So I chopped that off and fitted the little red, I think the JST. Connected, it's a, the female one, fitted that so it plugs straight into Upson. And I've actually, because this is the I end 109, I've actually used the original wiring. I've tapped into, I don't know if you can see that, if can get it to focus. Tapped into this wire there, which is the original control wire. For the three axis gimbal that comes with the I end. And that just runs around the side and plugs into the connectors on the front of the Storm 32. As you can see there, I'm using the top left three connectors. One controls pitch, one is yaw and the other one is ground so we're going to get it out now do another test flight with these soft rubbers and the new PID settings and see if it's got rid of that jello